everybody. I hope everybody's having a blessed evening. Guys, I have had so many requests on these blocks on the wall. I was trying to practice to figure out how to do them myself before I made a video. But everybody's asking me to make a video showing how to fold them. Which on these blocks, I have a couple of mistakes that I'm going to have to correct. But I am going to show you how to fold them. Like I already put my button on there. I shouldn't have. Because either I need to put some heating bar in there. And up there. Or I need, I'm going to stitch it down anyway. But anyway. If you want to see how these blocks are, are folded. And made. These blocks are from a lady on YouTube. Um, these that I watch all the time. I put her information in this video because I really don't know her name right now. I just know that I watch her a lot. And um, you can see her, she specializes in memory quilts. So if you got some of your grannies and your mama's hankies and you wanna make a beautiful quilt, she made two beautiful quilts out of them for keepsakes. Uh, I wanna make mine Pretty much, to, it can be washed, but even with the buttons. But if you want to see how I'm going to fold them, come back and I'll show you guys. I'll see you on remote. I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm here to show you how to fold these dresses. These are the dresses I've been showing, which I folded them wrong up here. But I still like this dress. I really do. But now, I just folded these. Can you see the difference in the breast of the, at the top of the, do I got it so y'all can see it? Let me see. I can't really see you guys down there. But this is the dress. And you can see it square at the top. Okay. And you can see this one has a V. So this is the one I'm going to go with. And I got, I got it in purple here too. So maybe you can see this one. You see what I'm talking about? See the V? Okay. So we're going to attempt to do this one. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to fold it, and these hankies are not coming out even, so uh, I fold it in half, make sure I keep it on there. <clears throat> you try to just get it at the top as, as even as you can. Then I'm going to take that loose and open it up, and now I'm going to bring this end to the center, that center fold, and I'm going to take it loose, then I'm going to bring this end to the center fold, and we're just going to finger press it. This one is, this one is really stiff, so you see, this is the front. So now with that being done, this little fold that you just made here, you're going to pinch it, the last fold, and you're going to bring it to the center. It will be, you're gonna bring it to the center. And you're gonna do it also on this side. You're going to bring it to the center and finger press it and finger press it now see this this baby is starching down <laughs> yes she is so i finger press them it should look like this on the back can you, you see that on the back it should look like that on the back so now that we got that done you're going to choose this end here. It looks a little bit straighter than the other. 
and down here. But let me let me measure some really quick. I want to see see how far that center is because it doesn't look even. Almost three. Yeah, that that's not even. But that's what I got going on. That's the way the hankies are. They're not even. So we're gonna hope it works. So now I can see already I have so much. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pinch it. I'm gonna pinch it up to the front, to the top. This thing is stiff, y'all. I got it stiff. You can bring it, you can bring more from the bottom, depends on how. Let's do it this way. This baby is stiff. But you want to bring an inch up to the front here. About an inch. This puppy is stiff. A lot of starch on that. But I want to bring more up from the bottom. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I brought it up, pinched it up about an inch. I think this sucker is stiff. So I'm not getting an inch on both sides. You want to make sure you're getting an inch on about an inch on both sides. You want to keep it as even as possible. So here we go. I think that when I flip it over, I'll see. And I may have to adjust it, play with it as much as you have to, to make it even on the back. So do you see this back here? This is what it should look like now. Let me let me hit it with the arm to get it to lay down. Then I can move it so you guys can see it more. Okay, this is what it should look like on the back. And you want to keep that, have that as straight as possible on your back. That's that's your second step. Now let's fight with this flare. Now we want to flare out. Our little dress. I put those things in there. We want to flare them out. And we want to try to keep this at the bottom on each side. Make your little thing of press there. On each side, about equal the same amount. When you flare it out at the bottom right here, you want to kind of eyeball it and try to make it equal and just run your finger down it and make your crease and you got your little dress flared out as i say it's about even so then you want to pick it up flip it over and i want y'all to see this i can't really see what y'all are seeing but this is the front of it here. So you're gonna take this piece here and you're gonna bring that down about an inch. Make sure it's even, guys, about an inch. That's what I didn't do. So then you wanna take this little piece right here and you wanna pull it all the way down. And when you pull it down, it's gonna make like a little triangle. Let me show you that. I gotta pick up the whole dress. It's gonna make like a little triangle. Can you see that? So, you wanna keep that. You may wanna, at this point, maybe hit it with the iron, but you want your little peak to come down and then make it like a little triangle for you. And you pull the other one down like this I'm gonna pull it all the way down and it's gonna make its little triangle. See? 
<laughs> it's not making it dry. There it goes. That's the little triangle I'm looking for. I'm going to hit this with the iron, and I'll show you the triangle I'm talking about. You see, when I pulled it down right here, it made, I pulled it down from here, and it made like a little triangle on each side. You see them? Can you see those, y'all? Can you see them? Okay. So, <clears throat> we're going to go from there. You're going to take this side, and you're going to bring it. Make sure you're in focus. You're going to bring this side all the way over. And when you do that, it's also going to give you a little bitty triangle here. This is from from your butts, your buttocks. And then you're going to take, can y'all see that? See where I pulled it all the way over? Let me give y'all a better look at that. See that? Where I brought it all the way over? Okay. And then we're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it down so they're they're kind of matching right here see i took the, the flap there and fold it down let me hit it with the iron then i can explain it a little better because this baby is really nice to and starched that's going to make your little sleeve. Your little sleeve that you're going to see on the side. So you see what it's looking like right in here? Okay. Now we're going to do the other side. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're going to pull this side over. All the way over. And your, butt, your little buttocks is going to come with it. But it should come with it. Cause it's going to make a triangle right there. I'm gonna make a triangle. Do y'all hear this kid at 2 30 in the morning? Ain't no way in the world I have a kid up like that. No, I don't have nothing to do with that. That's my daughter's child. <clears throat> but he's in there singing. Okay, we got a little triangle on the side right here. See when I pulled it over. You see there? Can you see that? Now we're gonna take this piece here and we're gonna fold it over. You see that? That's what I did. I'm gonna hit it with the iron, y'all. Come back here. They are, you can, you know, you can use pens. Don't be afraid to use some pens. Use just some pens if you need to keep it in place. Because I don't want to burn my finger over here because it keeps sliding away. Uh, so, if I burn my finger, y'all, I'm going to holler. So, I'm going to look at this for I show it to y'all. <laughs> there is your dress. See how pretty that is. Now, you can pull this in as much as you want. You can pull this in as much as you want to make it any way you want it. You could take and pull it, pull it in and make it any way you want it. But that is your little dress. And this is what it should look like on the back side. And I'll do you another one, but I'm going to get this key quiet. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. See, I, while I was off, I took the time to iron it again. But what I was talking about, see that little, that little piece right there? That little fold? You want to try to get it the same on each side. Now, you could take these and you could, she used the dryer sheet. You could put anything you want if you feel like you need to put a stabilizer up on it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it 
And I'm gonna cut out me a piece of heating balm. I'm gonna keep playing with this dress till I get it right. And I am going to put it on some heating balm and then put it on my block like I did the other ones. But this is the little cute dress. She just is pretty. She want to be in her white and blue. And I like that we got one flower here, one big flower here, one medium here, and one medium here. This is, you know, look at your, look at them and see what you want to do. But I'll do one more for you. Let me lay him over there. And I'm going to try. Y'all know I'm still learning. So bear with me. I'm going to try to do this real slinky one here. I'm going to try to do it. I just start this thing like three or four times. And I'm going to turn it over on the wrong side. And I'm going to try to get it as straight as possible. And that, what you want to do is get your, your pieces up here as straight as possible. This one may not make it, but we're going to do our best. And because you're going to have all different kinds, you're going to have all different sizes. And I think with that fold, when you, when you fold it, um, I think you can basically pull it up as far as you want to, the little fold around the waistline to make your hanky fit if it's too big. So we're finger pressing that. And we're going to bring it to the line. And it is not meeting up like it should. But we're going to try it anyway. So this is really slinky. So we're going to open it up, guys. And I think I'm trying to figure. I think I'm going to go with these two ends at the top see how much rounder they are so this is just decisions you're gonna have to make now i'm gonna bring this in up this fold up yeah. this fold up to the center at least it does finger press a lot better and the next fold up you know we made two folds i'm trying to keep y'all in shot here and this one you see why I said I'm gonna use this side here because it's more, it seems like it's more even. Okay, so this hanky, you can already see is bigger than, the, than this one was. You can already see it's bigger. So what we gonna do is, it's probably gonna, we got to make our fold here. I pinch here, and this is why I'm saying, I think you can pinch that, you can pull it from the bottom. If your panky's bigger, instead of a half an inch, you could probably do, I mean, a, yeah, inch, you could probably do a half an inch. I think that's what she said if your hanky's bigger. So I'm going to make this a little bigger, my pinch here. I'm going to keep rolling it until I get it even here. And nice. I got an inch, about an inch. I want it a little bit bigger because this hanky is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to pinch it further down here and bring this up, the bottom up, to my I don't think that's an, an inch and a half. It still may be an inch, but I think it looks okay. What y'all think? Okay. So, we're going to go from there. You know, we did this little pinch. I'm gonna look at the, we're going to look at the back of it, see if it's straight back there. That's what I do. Because if I need to pinch it some more, you can pinch it some more. And you can always pinch it some more if you want to. So now 
I'm going to hold it here and I'm going to flare out. Flare out my little dress, my little tail. And I'm going to try to get them as even as possible. But that's something you can do. You can play with that as much as you want. Make my little crease. And then, of course, I'm going to have some that's going to want to go back up there. And that's okay. So now, <clears throat> we're going to turn it over. And we're going to do the magic. It looks... It looks pretty straight, don't it, don't it, guys? But this thing is so flimsy. It looks pretty straight there, don't it? Okay. I just want y'all to see what I'm doing here. We're going to play out that little dress. And now we're going for this piece. This piece here. I don't know if this is the best way. And we're going to pull it back an inch. Which this has got like a little, a little point. So we're gonna pull it back an inch, and we're gonna finger press that, and then we're gonna take our little peak and pull it all the way back. We're gonna pull it all the way back, and it's gonna make our little triangle there. See that? I know this is not the best color, hanky. We're pulling that back again. That right there, and it's going to make us another little triangle. I'm going to try to keep these even as much as possible. But I want to keep my little triangle there and pull it back. It's supposed to come back, and it'll make you a little triangle. See my little triangle? See my little triangle here on both sides. I'm going to hit this with the iron, y'all, yeah, because it is flimsy. So at this point, you probably either want to use pins or you want to iron it. You want to hit it with the iron. So hitting it with the iron helped out a lot. You see, now I can show you better. And I can see right here. You just, I need to re, uh, adjust that a little bit so to kind of be even. And I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to hit that with the iron. And see what I was suggesting was like here, this piece here, to here. I wanted them kind of be like even like that. Okay, so now with all this here, remember we're going to pull this side all the way over, which is going to come here. We're making our little flare, a little, I guess that's a diamond triangle, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but we're making that, and we're going to uh, hit that. We're going to bring this. right on top of that one and fold it. And I'm going to hit it with the iron, y'all. I'm telling you, you need your iron with these. And be careful. These here are standing. My iron being set on cotton. Now, I may have to adjust this because I hadn't did one. And we're pulling this over here. We're bringing it over. You see our little little peak here? It's making the little... So we're going to bring it all the way over because it's going to make your butters too. You're going to straighten up your butters. And we got our little fold. And we're going to fold this part back on itself. Like that. And what y'all can see, that may not be fitting, but I'm going to hit it with the iron anyway, and I'll adjust it if need be. If you got some, some dinky ones like this, 
You're going to have to play with them. You're going to have to spend some time with them. And I can see I got one of my sleeves up higher than the other. And it's this one. And get that even. Okay, so let me go back and even that up. Now this one, this one's kind of laying down, you see? And this one's kind of pointed. So I'm going to lay that one down. Let me see if I can get that one to come in a little bit. Because this is a whole different ball game with, than just your cotton one. So this is something I'm trying to do. For the first time, this hanky may not make the cut, but I'm going to try it because I like it. It's pretty. I just got to get it. Oh, it's going to make it, y'all. I just had to fool with it a little bit to get it right. You see it? Y'all see it? I may have to play with it a little bit more, but you want to make your shoulders. You know, you don't want shoulders that are not uh, fitting and yes my sleeve yes I know y'all were saying that sleeve was sticking out too far and it was it was because that's the way I was holding it let me put some no that wasn't the way I was holding it that was not the way I was holding it correctly. Hold on, guys. We're going to get it right. This is messing with one that is slinky. It's slinky. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. I'll keep playing with it, but I think it'll be okay. I'll get these points right here. But I like that one. Y'all like that one? I do. I like this hanky. And I'm going to put it in that quill one way or the other. But uh, that's what I got to show you guys tonight. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you can understand it. But the lady that I originally, you see my bottoms down here? Which I'm going to flare it out. See my bottoms? <laughs> I can't get that. I, my, my hand ain't big enough, y'all. But I'm trying to get, make sure, I'll just show you this one, because the other one don't want to go. I just want to make sure that I keep these about the same on each side over here. Because, you you know, you can see through this. And so you don't want this to be all crooked, because you can see through it. And that's why you may want to use a stabilizer. That's really up to you guys what you want to do. It's your hanky. You play with it as much as you want to. But I do like this hanky. I do. I like this dress. So I'm satisfied with it. So guys, I'm going to go to bed because it is 2.30 in the morning. And I am going to go to bed and I will edit it, this video in the morning and get it up because so many people have been asking me. You know, you may want to put some pins in these if you're moving them around. You just may want to do that. But they'll lay here. And I appreciate you guys. And tell me if you like this one uh, or if you like this one better. This one, I can't hold both of them up. This one, this I got to take this one off because I got to do something. I got to somehow... Make sure. Oh, I'm going to tack it down anyway. But I just want to hold it down before I tack it down. Okay, tell me if you like this one. I like that one too. This is, I got a pen in this one so I can hold it. Or this one. This is a Christmas hanky. So, it's either or. I'll, I'll do this one because that was a Christmas hanky. This looks more. Which one? You like this one or 
you like this one. Let me know in the comments before I start putting my quilt together. Thank you guys for um, hanging in there with me. Uh, I know this might have not been the most professional video. Because y'all know I'm not a professional anyway. But thank you for hanging in there with me. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you guys. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. Hi right, guys, I don't know what I did with my little remote, but that's neither here nor there. These are the little blocks that I'm going to put with it. See these little hems? They're really small, so I'm going to add some more muslin to them because that's what's on, what they're printing on. I'm going to add them and make them bigger first before I can do that. I got to see exactly what size my my dresses is going, blocks going to be. And they... I cut out a 14 inch block. I had cut out, I think the other ones was 11 and a half and it wasn't big enough for, uh, for my dresses. Now, I even have some uh, kids hankies in this stash. And um, I don't think I'm gonna do those. I, I don't think I will. But I'm just going to stick to what I'm doing here. But now, if you don't have any hankies, you can go on eBay. You can go on Etsy. But listen, please do not let them people rip you off. Those hankies are overpriced. They are too much. At least on eBay, if you like it, they will send you an offer. Most of them send you an offer. So these that I have, I won on an auction. There was only one person bidding, and I just happened to have liked it in it. You know, they gave me a heads up that it was gonna end in 15 minutes. So I won the auction, because evidently they were asleep. I don't know what they were doing, ain't my business. But um, I'm just looking at one of them. But just please do not go in there and I got a lot of hankies because one time before I wanted to do this quilt and I didn't know how to fold them. So I had jumped up and ordered these hankies from China somewhere. I don't remember where they come from. That's been probably three years ago. And they're all just about the same. So I was like, I want the vintage hankies. That's what I want because those are not vintage. And, um, I bought those. Now, you may find some uh, from China, wherever they come from, some some place that's cheaper. But don't go out and spend a lot of money for these hankies. I mean, um, Etsy, I think it is, and eBay. They got one hanky they want to pay, one you pay $15 for. And I'm like, for what? You know, but that that's just my decision. You can make your own mind up. But I just don't want you to get ripped off trying to get these hankies but if you're blessed enough to have your mother's and your grandmother's hankies this would be a good quilt to make in honor of them so you will always have those hankies and like i say i'm gonna give you the information on the lady that i watch to learn how to fold them because she has two beautiful quilts that she made and she collects these hankies that she made and they're really pretty. They're really pretty. I just didn't like the bar. I didn't like that they that she didn't have enough waistline. That's just a pet peeve for me. You may not care. Uh, but that was just kind of a pet peeve for me that I wanted the waistline to be a little bit tighter. Not fuller, but tighter. You know, so uh but go over and look at her. I'm gonna put her information in here. I'm not going to forget. I'm going to put it in here when I edit this video and give her her credit. And I want you, because if you're interested in these quills, I want you to see how she did them because they are gorgeous. They are lovely. She does lovely work because she does memory quills. And people give her their things from a mother or grandmother. And I mean, God, she does beautiful work. Her and her church. I know... A lot of times she say her and her, uh, the women at her church will hand, um, they hand quilt all the quilts. You know, that, hey, my hat's off to that lady. That's awesome, you know. 
But um, no, I mean, I'm not trying to sell an ADD. I just want you to to get the full effect because some everybody has been so interested in this quilt. And I think she can show you a little bit more. And maybe you can see her folding it a little bit better, understand a little bit better. Because I do. I, I watch more than one video in order to get what I need from, you know, what I'm looking for. So, I don't have a problem telling you where it comes from. I'm never going to say it's mine when it's not mine. And I'm someone taught her to do it. But I had seen them a lot of times on Pinterest. I had seen, I don't think I had seen any videos on them. I think hers is the first one I seen where someone was making a quilt, a hat made a quilt out of it. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, y'all. I'm going to let y'all uh, go. And I appreciate your time that you spend with me. I appreciate your support on my channel. My channel is growing. And all my newcomers. I appreciate you guys. I hope you will find something over here that will pique your interest and keep you with me. And I'm going to say that, and I'm going to say God bless you and your family. Y'all have a blessed evening, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. It will be a playlist on this quilt. I'm going to show you how I'm going to set the blocks, or uh, how I'm going to put the other blocks in with it. So this will be a quilt that I'm going to make. And also I'm going to show you guys, because I'm going to do some free motion. Well, I'm not, it's not going to be free motion. I am going to do some draft. Uh, I'm going to copy out of some books that I got that uh, people use to quilt, designs to quilt. And I'm going to do that on these blocks. And so I'll take you along on that journey with me. I just thought I'd come back and tell you that because I forgot to tell you. And I think, oh, oh, one other thing. I'm going to quilt. I'm going to uh, quilt as I go. I hadn't did that in a long time. I did that when I first started. So this is going to be a, I'm going to quilt it as I go. So uh, I'll probably put some sashing on it. But we'll wait till we get to that because I kind of want to fill in. I'm going to have all this. It's not white. It's beige. And it's all Muslim. So, okay. I'm going to let you go this time. God bless. Bye-bye.